today we're going to be repairing some rust at the bottom of a door from a Citroen Ami 6. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I've done a couple videos on door bottoms and replacing rusted door bottoms, and I've lap welded them. The difference today is we're going to butt weld this, and instead of folding it over the bottom, this car was built where the inner panel and outer panel was pinch welded together at the bottom. So I'm going to cut the bottom of this off, form up a patch, and I'll be back. Before this patch panel gets welded into place, I thought I'd remove it to show you a few things that got it to this point. So we'll remove the clamps, take out the screws, set the patch aside. Now, I cut the old door bottom off to a point where there was only good metal and the door bottom inner door panel was also rusted and I cut that out and put in a little patch panel. This is going to get seam sealer in here, both sides, so we won't have to worry about that. Now, after I cut this, I folded it over at a 45 degree angle with this pliers here to make a V channel that I can MIG weld into and that way I don't have metal just butting up to each other welds on top of it where I have to grind them flush or flat. Eastwood makes a tool that creates this 45 degree angle for your seams and they do a great video on why you should do it this way. So let me put this patch back on and then I'll show you how I'm going to do the ends. And here's a shot of the end of the patch panel. I knocked the inner panel down a little bit so that I could create a 45 degree angle on the old panel and a 45 degree angle on the new panel and that way my welds would sit in that channel. I left the patch long so that I could fold it right along this line. Then I cut reliefs right there, there, and there so that could be folded over and curve along with the door. At the bottom I'm going to drill holes about quarter inch and plug weld it to the inner door panel. When I get that finished, when I get it all welded up, I'll be back. After finishing up the ends by folding them over and welding up the reliefs, spot welding or plug welding along the bottom and doing our best to put the spot welds right next to each other through the valley to weld that up solid, we're going to knock down any high spots we might have, grind it clean, and fill it. Once I get the filler mixed up, I'll be back. Once you have your filler mixed up, we'll just put a nice smooth layer right over the top of that. And we're going to take most of this off, but I just want to make sure that I get enough on there so I don't have to worry about having low spots or something like that. We're just going to put it on there and then we'll go about spreading it nice and even. And it, I'm putting it on thick 
but that's because I'm going to cheese grade most of it off. And now we're going to use a half round Stanley cheese grater blade to knock down some of the excess. And we're just taking off the excess. Just a lot of filler that I really didn't need and it just She's grazed, she's grazed it off like that so you don't have to breathe a lot of dust. I'm basically attacking the ridges right now. And you can go different directions like this, every different direction. And now we're going to go ahead and finish it up with an air file with fresh 40 grit on it. Let me get this cleaned up. I'll DA sand it, throw a coat of primer on so you can see the finished panel. After a couple coats of primer, this is the finished panel. I hope you enjoyed this video on butt welding automotive patch panels in a way that protects the integrity of the weld and the surrounding sheet metal from excessive grinding. And if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.